What's up? This is Cameron and welcome back to another video on my second channel. If you haven't yet, go check out my previous entertainment talk and news video I did, which was all about the Oscars. I basically go through all the important categories and say what the what the Oscar nominations are and what my personal picks are, and I kind of just ended off to say when the Oscars will be. It's a cool video. Go check it out. Now today, we're going to be doing a video all about my movie and game collection. Basically going through every single VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and video game that I own. I'm going to show each one and kind of talk about it a little bit. All the movies are organized by category, TV shows are kind of just there. Video games are organized by console, so it should be fun. It'll be a fun time. I'm basically going to show it all. Anyway, enough talking about it. Let's get right into it, starting with the very top. First, we'll be going through all the DVDs. Now, before we get into anything else, we'll talk about this big item right here. This is Lost, the complete collection. Lost is my favorite TV show of all time, and I bought this like four years ago. Everything's in here. I haven't taken it out because the show was on Netflix, but it's not anymore, actually. So, if I ever want to rewatch the show again, I got it all on DVD. But uh, this was like $120 when I bought it in 2013. But uh, you could probably get it for a lot cheaper now. But um, yeah, that's the biggest item. It was sitting right here on that shelf. That's why I kind of wanted to just show it first and just get it out of the way. All right, here we go. The DVDs, these are going to be the movies first. And first off, I have them organized by the collections. So we have, these are basically like the big box items. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the big book edition. Home Alone, the complete collection, which includes Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Home Alone 3, and Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. Don't know why I own this. The first and second is really all you need. Friday the 13th, eight movie collection. This includes the first one all the way through the eighth, Jason Takes Manhattan, my personal favorite. Now the next category we have here is family. We've got Space Jam, Cats and Dogs, Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams, Diary of Wimpy Kid 1, 2, and 3. This includes the first one, Roger Rules, and Dog Days. Next up is Disney, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Hercules, the Santa Claus 2, which I don't own the first or third. This one's actually my favorite, surprisingly. They never show this one on TV at the holidays, which I think is the reason why I own it. The Haunted Mansion, The Incredibles, Wally, -E, College Road Trip, Home Alone, Family Fun Edition. I own a lot of different versions of this movie. It's kind of funny, actually, because you know I own the collection, own it on DVD for the Family Fun Edition, and then own the regular one on Blu-ray, so. By the way, we were in a new category. This is still Disney. We're in a holiday now. Warner Brothers 4 Film Holiday Collection. This includes Fred Claus, Just Friends, Unaccompanied Minors, and Christmas Vacation 2, Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure, which I've never seen and I never will. And Deck the Halls. Alright, next category we have here on DVD is going to be comedy. We have Better Off Dead, Billy Madison, Beavis and Butthead Do America, Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, Me, Myself, and Irene, Meet the Parents, Not Another Teen Movie, Bruce Almighty, Mean Girls, which, yes, I'm a 21-year-old straight guy who owns this movie. It's actually one of my favorite comedies of all time. Kind of a guilty pleasure. Anger Management, Cheaper by the Dozen, Paul Blart Mall Cop. Never saw the second one. Uh, this is another movie that's really a guilty pleasure, but I probably won't ever watch the second one. I heard horrible things about it. Next category here is Western, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and The Magnificent Seven. Next category is Drama. We have Saving Shiloh. It's the only Shiloh movie that I own. It's actually the only one I really enjoyed. Um, the other two I wasn't really too fond of, even though this is kind of like the lowest rated one. I always liked it. Maybe it's because I just grew up watching it. I don't know. American Beauty. This category, which only has one movie, is going to be science fiction, and it's Men in Black. And I still have the sticker from when I bought it at a pawn shop back in Colorado. Next category is horror, which once again I only have one movie for, and that's A Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. I've never seen any of the old Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I really should, because I've heard they are so much better than this movie, which I still enjoy it, but, you know, still. Now we're getting into the television series that I have on DVD. We have The Best of Friends, Volume 1, which has episodes from Seasons 1 and 2. The Best of Friends, Volume 2, and this has episodes from 3, 4, and 5. This isn't even a TV show, it's a web show, but it's The Angry Video Game Nerd Season 2. I love this show. One of the many things that inspired me to do my own series, which I mean, we're going to talk about in a little bit. Um, a long time ago when I first started YouTube, but yeah, I only have season two. I'd love to get more on DVD because even though it's all online, you know, like it's always nice to have it physically. Robot Chicken Star Wars and America The Story of Us, which is a documentary that was on the History Channel. Very good documentary. Scooby Doo Where Are You, the complete first and second season. Beavis and Butthead Volume 3, which has all kinds of episodes from like the third portion of, the, of when the show was on TV, I guess you could say. 
24 season one. Great show actually, I really love 24. It's one of the shows I really need to revisit. I never even finished it, but I, I loved it. So I, I need to rewatch it again. Season two, I don't own season three, but I have season four, season five. Don't have season six, but here's season seven. And last season, season eight. Next up, How I Met Your Mother, season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, and season six. I don't own seven through nine. Um, a funny thing about owning How I Met Your Mother is that, uh, same with owning Lost, is I, when I first watched these shows on Netflix and bought the DVDs, my friend was like, why, why are you buying them? Like, it's on Netflix. But what's funny is these days, both of those shows are not. So it's nice to have them, di or have them physically, even though I don't own all of How I Met Your Mother. Really, seasons one through six is the best part of the show, so. Um, I mean, now I have Hulu, so I can watch it anyway, but it's just funny, because, you know, like, if I didn't have Hulu, I'd have it all here in my hands. Next show that we have here is That 70s Show. Season one, season two, season three, season four, season five. I don't own seasons six through eight. Now these next few are like Disney Channel and Nickelodeon shows. Like it's basically it's kind of kind of thing where it was like they had like four episodes on each. Di on they had like it's basically one of those things where it's like a DVD that came with four episodes. They never came out with like the complete seasons except for one of the shows in here actually did that. But for the most part, it was just a few episodes from the season. Let's get into those. These are like DVDs I've had such such a long time since I was a kid basically. Um, Fill the future, gadgets and gizmos. The sweet life of Zach and Cody taking over the Tipton. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody lip syncing in the rain. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody's sweet, sweet victory. The Sweet Life on deck anchors away. Sunny with a chance, Sunny's big break. iCarly season one, volume one. And iCarly season two, volume one. Next up we have Arrested Development season one. I don't have two through four. This, this is the best season uh, anyway, but you know, it'd be nice to have them someday. Next up, Breaking Bad, one of my favorite television shows of all time. We have season one, season two, Season three, season four, season five, season six. The final season. <laughs> Say my name. You're goddamn right. That's not how it went at all, but still. Jericho, season one. And Jericho, season two. Uh, very underrated show. The first season is fantastic. Then it got canceled. They brought it back for a second season. Second season, eh, it's average. But it's a really good show. If you have Netflix, check it out. Now we're getting into the Blu-rays, we'll start off with the collections, Star Wars The Complete Saga, which has episodes 1 through 6, Back to the Future Trilogy, Indiana Jones The Complete Adventures, which has all four Indiana Jones movies that are out so far, Harry Potter The Complete Collection, which has all eight movies, next category is Disney, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Beauty and the Beast, the original animated one, Aladdin, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Lion King, and The Beauty and the Beast 2017 Remake. There was live action. Days in the sun, where my life has barely begun. Come on, Shrek. Shrek 2. This category is family, basically, but it's the only movie I really have. Next category is holiday. You'll shoot your eye out. A Christmas story. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Put that cookie down. No! You probably don't understand what just happened. Jingle all the way. It's from that movie. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the remake. They're actually remaking this movie again. Comes out Christmas 2019, I believe. Maybe this year. Elf. Next category is comedy. National Lampoon's Vacation. The original, not, not the shitty remake. European Vacation. Christmas Vacation. And Vegas Vacation. Now out of those four there's, you know, there was the five originals before they did the remake. Um, I've never seen Christmas Vacation 2. Like I said, never will. Um, European Vacation was always my least favorite, though, actually. I love Vacation and Christmas Vacation. I thought Vegas Vacation was all right. But European, I was just never really too too big on. I think it was the kids, mainly, to be honest with you. Praise Morty Moose. Scat. Damn it, Scat. But I, but I tell you, if I tell you about being a fucking ant, Oh, the strawberries, the strawberries. Ah. You don't need bumpers, life doesn't give you bumpers. Is this recording? Oh God. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Never seen it. Got it as a Christmas present a few years ago. Still need to see it. Um, my personal favorite John Hughes movie, 16 Candles. Space Balls. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Life moves pretty fast. 
you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. Dazed and Confused, um, probably my favorite period piece movie of all time. Uh, I love this movie. The Sandlot, American Pie, American Pie 2, this was always my favorite out of all of them. American Wedding, and American Reunion. Wet Hot American Summer, great movie. L honestly, like one of the best subtle comedies ever made, if, if you know what that really means. Fifty First Dates, never seen it, got it at a pawn shop for about two bucks. I, I need to watch this someday. I feel like it's one of those movies that like, is probably like, good with a date, you know? If I, I, I ever had any. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Uh, it's funny because this is always like looked. I always saw this as like a like a, a rom. I always saw this as a rom com. Probably you know, a chick movie, but uh, it's actually really good. One of my favorite comedies. The Hangover. This is the end. And that's actually it for the comedies. Next up we have drama. This is funny because this this collection right here, this it's the Stanley Kubrick collection. Actually, it's like three different genres. It's science fiction, drama, and horror. So I just kind of mix it all into drama. It's kind of a more general thing. 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and The Shining. The Breakfast Club, Stand By Me. I always love this movie, you know, it always reminds me of, you know, being that age, you know, being 12. And one of the lines in the movie always stuck with me, which is, you don't have friends like the friends you have when you're 12 years old. It's very powerful, except for the friends I had when I was 12 years old. Kind of assholes. Goodfellas, Pulp Fiction, and The Shawshank Redemption. Is it just me, or does Tim Robbins look like Bruce Willis on the cover of that movie? It's interesting. Continuing with drama, The Usual Suspects, Fight Club, Donnie Darko, The Day After Tomorrow, Taken, and Boyhood. Next up, Science Fiction, Interstellar, Ex Machina. Now, up next is Adventure, The Goonies, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Schmaug. Only Hobbit movie that I own, only one I think is worth owning. And the Lord of the Rings theatrical version collection. I'd love to get the uh, you know the ex extended cut some days, but some days, someday. But this is just the Lord of the Rings original collection of the you know the trilogy. These kind of go with science fiction, but I have them in their own spot just because of how it looks on the shelf. And that's uh, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, the Steel Book, my personal favorite Star Wars movie, uh, and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. The only Star Wars movie I don't own is Episode Seven at the moment. I need to get that soon even though I wasn't really the biggest fan of that movie. Up next is gonna be comic book movies. <laughs> Might as well grab this while we're at it. The Dark Knight Trilogy, um, in this box. It's pretty cool, you know, it's a limited edition collector's item and uh, it looks really good on the shelf, so I, I really like this piece. Continuing with comic book movies, we have Batman. Batman Returns. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Pizza Time, Spider-Man 2. Now dig on this. Spider-Man 3. I really don't hate as much as everyone does. It's still not great, but I honestly like it still. Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, The Extended Cut, and Wonder Woman. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Spider-Man Homecoming. Next category is Action. Die Hard with a Vengeance, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, God's... <coughs> Was that Godzilla next category is horror we have Jaws then we have the Halloween the complete collection this is really cool big collector's item you can barely even find this anymore if you do it's like 300 bucks on eBay um, but I got it for $90 I believe 80 or 90 dollars at Best Buy in 2014 15 I think it was 14 and that includes Halloween Halloween 2 Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, which doesn't have Michael Myers in it, but I still really enjoy that movie. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Halloween 20 Years Later. Halloween Resurrection. Next up we have Gremlins, The Silence of the Lambs. Scream 5 film set, which includes Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, Still Screaming, which is a documentary, and Scream the Inside Story, which is another documentary. And both those documentaries include Harvey Weinstein quite a bit. Let's talk about that guy for a second. What the fuck? Scream 4, Freddy vs. Jason, Halloween the remake, Halloween 2 the remake, Friday the 13th the remake. <laughs> the last category for Blu-ray is going to be television series. We've got The Walking Dead, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, 
in season five. I have not watched this show since the end of season six, and I don't regret it. Then we've got Stranger Things season one on Blu-ray. I love this because it looks like a VHS tape, but it's not. It's a Blu-ray set, and uh, it's, it's really cool. I love the first season of the show. The second one was good. It just wasn't... I, it didn't intrigue me as much as the first season did, but I think it was that was hard to beat, so I can't really say I blamed them there. And then VHS. This is the only VHS item I still own. It's going to be the Star Wars original trilogy, theatrical cuts. I, I, love, I love that I have this. Um, I don't have a VHS player, but still, it's cool to have the theatrical cuts, so um, I like that. Yeah. This is before they, you know, added all, like, the, the special effects, which I don't have a problem with, really, at all. Um, most of them. But, still, it's cool to have this. Okay, here we go. Intermission. Halftime. Get some water. Maybe get a snack. I think I'm gonna eat that protein cookie that I messed around with earlier. But, um, next up we're gonna be showing all the video games. Which, there's not nearly as many as there was with, uh, you know, movies, TV series, but stay tuned. Now, I have these organized by the make first, you know, Sony, Nintendo, blah, blah, blah. Then it goes in order from when the console came out, and then it's alphabetically. It's probably confusing, but just, just sit back and enjoy. First console, Sega Genesis. We have The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Disney's Aladdin. Disney's The Jungle Book. Echo the Dolphin. The Page Master. Samurai Showdown. Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic Spinball. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Taz and Escape from Mars, and Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics. Next up is Nintendo. The only Super Nintendo game I have is Disney Pixar's Toy Story. Nintendo 64, I only have two games here. Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life. And The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. GameCube, we have Disney Pixar's The Incredibles. Casper Spirit Dimensions on the GameCube. Don't know why I said that. Why did I say GameCube at the end? I don't know. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, and I hate that I have this version of it, it's the Kmart exclusive, when I ordered it off Amazon I did not realize that's what it was, so I have this like stupid print on it, but Madden 2005, I have had this game the longest, I've had this since Christmas Day 2004, yeah, and the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Next up we have the Wii, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Donkey Kong Country Returns, Epic Mickey, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Wii Play, now the Wii U, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, Mario Party 10, New Super Mario Bros. U, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. I didn't know if it was Wii U or U, and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. That's where the Wii U comes from. Now the Nintendo Switch, I only own two games so far, I've only had the console for like a month, so I've got The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Next we have the PlayStation 1, Gran Turismo, Gunship, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I think I'm dying here, man. PlayStation 2, Gran Turismo 3, A Spec, The Simpsons Hit and Run, Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. I have a lot of Pixar games, I just realized. The Cat in the Hat, Disney's Kingdom Hearts 1. I didn't know if it was the first or second, I kind of forgot. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, my personal favorite Guitar Hero game. I also love Guitar Hero 5. Madagascar, NBA 2K8, Rock Band, Tetris Worlds, Tony Hawk's Underground, and Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo. I'm actually doing a video series of this pretty soon on my Millsy Gameplay channel. I'm also doing Skyrim over there right now, but this is a very underrated game, to be honest. Underrated children's game from back in the day. This game's a lot of fun. I only know one other person who I grew up with that played this, and he's the one who introduced it to me, so it's interesting. All right, PlayStation 4. We have Batman Arkham Knight, Battleborn, Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which comes with Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel, Call of Duty World War II, Grand Theft Auto V, Minecraft, PlayStation 4 edition, obviously, NBA 2K15, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection, which comes, which comes with the first three, Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. And then we have Uncharted 4, Thieves' End. A Thieves, a Thief, Thief, a Thief, a Thief's End. All right, on the Xbox 360, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection, Batman Arkham City, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Lost via Domus, uh, Guilty Pleasure game, actually. Uh, a lot of games based off TV shows are not that good, but I actually enjoy this one, kind of. 
even though it's pretty short. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Red Dead Redemption, and Sonic Generations. Last category we have for games here is going to be PC games. We have the Elder Scrolls Anthology, which comes with Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, and all the DLC for everything. Call of Duty 2, The Movies, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Gold, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, The Sims Deluxe Edition, my personal favorite PC game of all time, The Sims 2, Double Deluxe. One, one expansion which comes with two stuff pack, but that's the, the Sims 2 Fun with Pets collection, comes with Sims 2 Pets expansion, Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff, and Sims 2 Family Fun stuff. And I forgot to talk about Double Deluxe comes with Nightlife expansion pack and Celebration stuff. And then the Sims, Double, or the Sims Deluxe Edition just comes with Live and Large expansion and The Sims. There's all the games. The last thing I want to talk about is this right here. This is on Blu-ray, and it's basically, if you, Millsy Gameplay a long time ago was a channel called Gamer Guy, and if you go way far back, you can find all this stuff. Late last year, I ended up putting my entire web show called Gamer Guy's Reviews, which was inspired by Peanut Butter Gamer, um, the Angry Video Game Nerd. I put it all on Blu-ray, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through it all. Basically, it's Gamer Guy's Reviews, the complete series. We have Season 1, Disc 1, which all these had bonus features and stuff too. Season 1, Disc 2. They also had a lot of Let's Play episodes, which I thought was kind of something that would have been, would have been cool to, to include. Um, season 1, Disc 3. Season 2, Disc 1. Season 2, Disc 2. Season 2, Disc 3. Season 3, Disc 1. Season 3, Disc 2. Season 4, which is the final season, Disc 1. Final Season Disc 2, and Final Season Disc 3. And that's the that's the whole show. Uh, if you want to check out any of this stuff, go to, I'm going to have a link to Millsy Gameplay in the description. You can go way far back and find my old Gamer Guys stuff. Plus, I'll have a link to the playlist that had all of the Gamer Guys reviews episodes if you want to check that out. Um, I have a new series I started recently called Millsy Entertainment if you want to go to that channel and check that out. You know, might be a fun time. Millsy Entertainment, my new series I'm doing is kind of like pretty similar to what I did with Gamer Guys Reviews, but uh, to a better scale, you know, everything's a lot more modern, everything um, is actually high quality, it's not so low quality like all my old stuff was, but anyway, that, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, really appreciate it, it really helps me out. On this channel, I'll do entertainment talk and news once a week, as well as vlogs once a week, and sometimes I'll mix it up and do other things, but that's about it. I also have a conference room series, which I do, which is sort of like a podcast, eventually it'll go in that direction. But for now, it's just kind of me and two friends chilling, talking about a trending topic, anything like that. But I'll have the second episode of that coming out very soon. You can look forward to that. Also, tell me about your day in the comments. Tell me about what you think of my collection and tell me about your collection. What are some of your favorite items in your collection? Uh, for me, it'd be my Lost Complete series, my Dark Knight trilogy, uh, the box set, the Halloween Complete collection. But I'd love to hear all what you guys have. So tell me all about that down in the comments. That's about it. Hope you guys all have a great day and I will talk to you all next time.